everyone, it's Val of a Huntress and welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is going to be So what is your ideal career path um, and life purpose? So I want to look into what could be career opportunities, like good career options for you. Yeah, and anything to do with like your life's purpose, if that's going to come through as well. Yeah, we're going to be asking the question today. And yeah, um, welcome back or welcome if you're new. I do pick a card readings and other spiritual based video topics. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. And if you have subscribed, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get noti notified every time I upload new videos. Um, all my details are below if you'd like to book a personal reading with me as well. Um, yeah, so you can find all the details there and yeah, don't forget to come follow me on Insta and TikTok um, Yeah, because I post other content over there as well Yeah, my TikTok ha and Insta handle is at Vale of the Huntress Thank you for everyone who's been booking in readings with me and donating to my channel. I so appreciate it um, Yeah, so I'm really excited for this reading um, Yeah, and I just yeah, so let's get into it um great so um i have four numbers for you to um, choose from today if you do feel uh, drawn to more than one pile um feel free to listen uh to all of them yeah so pick a number one two one to four i don't know i'm like reading them all out um uh yeah so anyway i'm really tongue-tied okay um great so let's jump into the first pile um Pile number Hey pile one and welcome to your reading. Yeah, so today we're going to be asking the question, what is your ideal career path? Um, yeah, your ideal career and any life purpose. Um, basically, yeah, any life, your life purpose, if that's going to come through as well. So what is your ideal career? Um, so yeah, let's take a look, take a look at your cards here. Okay, we have um, clear yourself, ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. <laughs> so um, immediately with this card, I'm getting that this group is very empathic. So um, you would be the one that you walk into a room and you would feel energy. Um, you're very sensitive to energy. So this tells me as well that, um, but I do want to look into um, what other cards you have as well. But um, you sense energy You spend, and you probably sense spirits around you. So there's this thing here around a real sensitivity and also in the career path that would be the best for you as well. And looking at what kind of career path would be I'm gonna say less stimulating and like better for your nervous system as well and the type of environment that you need to work in is something that is um, an environment that needs to be not as harsh as what I'm getting um, because you are quite sensitive you would pick up on a lot of energy as well so I feel like being around, um, being in places that are really busy um, would be quite, I feel like you could do it, but I don't feel for long. So I don't know if like places that are too busy with a lot of people, um, yeah, just this whole toxic thing with in the environment is, I'm just getting is not good for you. Um, but let's have a look. Yeah, and then we have, <laughs> that's funny because I haven't looked at these cards. Then we have mediumship. 
which pretty much says it all then, doesn't it? So this one says, um, you have the natural ability to connect with departed loved ones. And that's kind of what I was getting. So you... I always feel like too, like even if you do, you probably know that you have this gift or you are looking at developing this gift. Um, you do have free will as well, I'm being told. So, you know, this doesn't necessarily mean that you have to go and, you know, be a medium or, you know, be a tarot reader or, um, you know, something in the healing modality, but it is coming through that this is one of your gifts and this is a part of, um, I'm getting is like one of your, your it, it is an option for a career. Um, so that's interesting. Yeah, so I've pre-shuffled these cards before, but I don't like to look at them because it's kind of like, I like to free flow and I love it when things come together. But anyway, so your life perfect purpose involves um, speaking speaking to departed loved ones, um, being, being a medium, being a tarot reader, some type of energy work as well. And that's a whole thing around it. I felt that if you were like in a busy, busy environment such as um, you worked, I don't know, but you know, you know, this is just like, you know, in retail or like a bar job or something there where there was a lot of people or, um, you know, things like this that I was kind of getting obviously would not be good for you. But, you know, there are different ways as well to utilize, um, you know, like even if you were doing like mediumship or things like this, you could be writing as well, which is coming through. Um, like there's different ways to um, kind of channel this energy into doing what it is that you particularly love and what that what it is that you find um, is like your unique, you know, because these are general readings, but it is coming through that, um, yeah, well, you can see, you can see what it says. <laughs> um, but let's have a look at what else you have. Um, so we have the peace offering card here. So I feel like there's a lot of ancestors around you that is coming through and this is something that is in your lineage. Um, so I feel like you have been, I'm getting things around past lives as well. This is probably something that you can also um, be doing and picking up on. You have many past lives, I'm being told too. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, there's something here around, there's a lot of ancestors around you and are encouraging you to I feel, yeah, to do this as your work, I'm being told that maybe it's been a little bit difficult for you to kind of fully step into this for some people. Um, yeah, there's like a thing here around maybe something happened or something about um, courage, something about fear coming through. So, you know, um, take what resonates and... But I feel like you do have like a lot of ancestors around you and it's something that is um, in your bloodline um, and something that you can, is coming through is, is like your, is your life's um, purpose and like your career, career path. Um, and then we have crystals here. So definitely getting, um, I just feel like you're so sensitive to so sensitive to energy and picking up on so many different things. You may potentially, uh, am getting um, children and animals are coming through as well. If this is something that you're interested in working um, with as well is quite strong here and prominent. Um, that's probably because you can read um, read the energy or there's something there where like the, the energy is softer as well, like not as harsh I'm getting. Um, you could really, yeah, I'm getting something, there's definitely something here around animals for sure. And um, yes, even crystals. So I do feel like this could come through and you could even, for some people, I am getting like Reiki or some type of healing modality. Even like other health modalities like acupuncture, things in the health field where I can kind of, you know, where you're using, um, still using like your healing gifts. And I feel like this is something as well that could be a potential career um, path for you. Health, 
even nutrition, nutritionist, um, acupuncture, massage therapist. Um, yeah, it's like this thing around like nu nutrition and health and also coming through is, um, yeah, I'm just getting a lot of things around the nat natural health sector. Even I am getting for some people, um, even just in the health sector, you know, like a nurse or doctor or something like this um, for some people as well. So it's kind of like you do have these gifts, but you can utilize them in a different um, field, if that makes sense. Like you don't just have to be, um, like you, yeah, like it's not, not, it's like you have this ability um, of mediumship, but you're able to channel it in a different way, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, like in a different career. Okay, and we do have protection. Your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. So I kind of, that's what I was getting around, maybe some type of fear for some people and fully stepping into this or for some people. But there's just a message coming through, especially from your ancestors, that you are divinely protected and very safe. Um, for some people I'm getting a mess. yeah, I'm just getting maybe something happened to someone if this resonates with you in regards to, um, spirits, um, spirit activity or something like this or something that kind of freaked you out, I'm getting, um, but to know that you're always protected and I think too around maybe if it's, this isn't a, a, about a, you know, spirit activity, there's something here around just um, knowing that you're protected and you're safe. So maybe you're being feeling anxious. But this is like because of your energy, because you are really sensitive and like spirit just want, and your ancestors just want to know, want you to know that, that you are safe and um, you're, re you're very, very protected is like you, I feel like you really needed to hear that. Um, we do have truth and integrity here as well um where I put this trying to fit everything in truth and integrity do I feel like in anything you do it's kind of what I was getting like you would be in a career path that was something very you know that you're passionate about and something that's very close close to your heart Again, like children coming through, it doesn't have to be just for some people and like things around just you living in your authentic truth and being who you truly are. So maybe there's a thing here around um, not wanting to kind of step into this or kind of there could be something around this fear um, that's coming through. Um, I feel like maybe, yeah, because you've got a lot of cards here, here around um, kind of like anxiety and things that are potentially things that have been um, something that's on your mind, something that could have happened, um, you've been worrying, so whether you're worrying about your career path or there's something keeping you up at night, this could have been, yeah, something around safety, yeah, um, so I feel like that's why that message came through with that protection. Whatever has happened to you, know that you are divinely protected and you are safe. Um, and all these things that have keep been keeping you up and worrying you, know that, that you can, nothing is permanent and that you can let these, you know, writing them out, letting them go and, and just making sure that you're getting these things out of your mind in a way that is, is helpful for you. So maybe you've been worrying about something um, recently that's come up. But um, I feel like maybe, yeah, something around what we were, what we were talking about. I feel like spirit, this card here, I feel like spirit is, is kind of, maybe you've been feeling alone. Because I feel like this card, is, it's, 
what is just coming to me through this is that you feel like you've been alone lately and that maybe you're looking for some type of support, some type of guidance. So I'm hoping that you that you're going to get something, some message from this reading um, that's going to help you in some way. Because I feel like Spirit is saying we are there supporting you, like you're not alone. And maybe sometimes you feel like that, but they're there to let you know that they're kind of always holding you. No matter how you feel and whatever you're going through, they're kind of like holding you up and um, kind of saying like, we're not going to let you go. We're not going to let you drown. We're not going to, we're like here. So even if you are feeling alone and you're going through these things, like you can't sleep at night, they're just letting you know that it's kind of coming through. Um, so we do have the emperor here. And then we do have uh, the nine of discs as well, which is that you, the job, the career you're going to be in, you are going to most, I'm getting you are probably going to be working alone. You are going to be very wealthy if you do decide to go down this path as well. You, and when you stay in your truth and integrity, I feel that's when kind of like the money and everything will start to come in for this, for this group. Um, I am getting like leadership as well. So remember that you are a leader. You do have me have the emperor here, which is like you do know what you want. But at the moment, maybe you're going through these things and you're feeling conflicted, but it's not going to stay like this forever and things are going to shift. And remember, remembering to let all these things go. So you're able to then kind of like focus on um, what it is that you really want to do with your career and how you want to move forward and remembering that you always have support from spirit. So yeah, a lot of like um, leader, I also getting like mentorship as well is coming through for this group. Um, getting a lot of like animal totem spirits coming through. So there's a real connection here to um, animal spirit guys. And I think this comes from your ancestors. Could be like um, like tribal coming through as well because this is in your bloodline. But yeah, again, the message that's coming through is like um, your angels, good guides. Everyone is here supporting you and they know that whatever you're going through is going to shift and they want you to focus on trying to do something to help you get out of your mindset so you can let all these things go and then you can like put that energy into focusing on what it is that you truly want to do and knowing that you aren't alone. Great and that's all I have for group number one. I hope you found this reading interesting. If you did please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my content and remember if you like to book a more personal reading um, about your career you can find all my details in the description box below. Great, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey Pal 2 and welcome to your reading. So, today we're going to be asking the question, what is your ideal career and anything that comes through about your life's purpose? So what are good career options for you? Yeah, let's, let's jump into this and yeah, what is an ideal career for you? Okay, we have listened to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So this tells me that you are very intuitive. I feel that um, there is something that you have already been thinking about doing or I feel like you are already on the right direction, on the right path. Um, I am getting a thing here around... There's kind of like a softness to your energy. It is like a, um, yeah, a softness to your energy. And even in this like picture, I'm getting like around, for some people, there's like this connection to nature. So whether this is like these roses here, um, even like the smell of my, my candle, I think it's kind of like things that are good Think you enjoy things f that are like sensory. So whether this is essential oils, um, herbs, 
there's something here to do with um, smell, touch, and um, yeah, flowers. Um, I'm random getting like even like a florist or something here where there's um, creativity. I'm getting like creativity coming through as well. We do have crystals. The energy of crystals supports you and helps you with your present situation. So maybe you have been struggling or thinking about what it is that you truly do want to do or you have already decided and you are on the right path um, to do something to do with your with your career path. Yeah, we do have like this nature retreat into nature. Let me fit all this in. And then we do have um, the God box as well. Write any worries, concerns, or desires on a piece of paper that you put into a special container called a God box as a way of letting go and allowing the divine to help you. So maybe you have been really struggling with um, thinking about what it is that you truly want to do. Maybe you're doubting it. And maybe I feel, because I feel like you are on the right path, especially here with this, this you're receiving accurate information, but I feel like um, you're just letting your mind get in the way when actually you are, you're needing to trust yourself more. But there's this whole thing here. Where, I mean, we even have crystals too. So I feel that it's... Do you like things that are... I mean, you like things that are beautiful as well. You like things that... Luxurious things. Things that even like making your own even like I'm getting fabric like her like her dress as well there's this creativity so you could be something like in the field of thinking about um like even like fashion design or something here where there's a lot of creativity it's kind of like you like to get things such as fabrics or um oils or candles something or crystals and you kind of even like jewelry and you like to put your your own um things together like I feel like you're really creative and you like like I was saying you like um the sensory so like touch like even you know with fabric like texture um the smells are coming through but I feel like maybe you've been worrying and we do have like this retreat into nature so I do feel like you do have like a connection there is this connection to, I mean, we do have like a lot of like, we do have like a lot of nature colors as well coming through. So I feel like there is some connection to the earth, to the elements and what you're creating. And I feel like this all comes like something that you're doing really comes from your heart. So whether you're a designer or you, you know, I mean, or if you want to be, um, it's something here where you're wanting to create something or work in a field that's creative where yeah I feel like maybe you're using your hands or even like I said like the candles um or some type of products things that yeah are like pleasurable um so we do have like the we have to have the six of cups here which says pleasure something that's like luxurious pleasure um yeah, like, I was getting, like, ple pleasurable. <laughs> um, and we do have nurture yourself here. So I feel like... I'm just getting, like, things that... Even, like, beauty. So even, like, beauty products. There's something here. And again, like, she's... She, it's, there's a lot of things here with connected to the heart and like this said as well your body was receiving accurate information I just feel like here and she's like Mother Mary I feel like there's a lot of things there's something that you want to do that you're really passionate about that is your um, an ideal career for you but I'm getting so many things coming through because this is like a general reading but there's this thing here where there's something you really feel within your heart that makes you really happy um so even yeah or things that help people to relax so this could be meant to do with like the crystals 
or some type of like spa um even if you owned like a retreat or a spa there's something here around products or working in like the beauty industry the um yeah and or in some type of service so this could have something to do with like crystals or this could be like a connection like i did say like a florist or something where or gardening or you're working with your hands and you're working with nature is coming through interesting because i feel like this group um i'm getting that you all have different um specific ideas for what you want to do so whether you're thinking about creating your own product um we do have ideas and inspiration and this one again is like the angels have been like speaking to you that and again that's so good um just because i didn't see these cards and i love how they were going together so the ideas and inspirations like the guides have been speaking to you and the hero that said like you're getting the nudges like you know this is like your sign whatever you've been thinking about this is your sign that you're on the right path this is an ideal career path you've been thinking about something it's something you really want to do I am getting something around it's just like luxury but again yeah you were worrying about what it is and you're worrying about um, if it's going to work out or if it's a good idea where you need to like release it so yeah jewelry um, making something even art um, there's something you want to create and make and we do have tranquility here make make time to be still and enjoy some solitude and indulging in mass, much needed self-care so this i feel is you too but also this is connected to um, what i feel like you will be doing so like i was saying like the beauty products or spa um something where you're helping people relax or you're making something where yeah it's like relaxation but it's like it's just like see like nice things that make you feel good i don't know there's something here where you've had an an inspiring idea to create something um so we have the page of cups here uh, the knight of wands so it's something you want to create that's come from your heart and you're wondering if you, you know, this is something new. I'm definitely getting something new. And yeah, so then you're wanting to maybe set up a store or sell something online um, or open a shop. Um, but yeah, some type of product or some type of service that's to do with like beauty, luxury, art, jewelry, clothes, um, like designing something. It's like you're putting, using your hands and making something or making a service for people to help them to relax or something or to help to heal so she was like this crystal card coming through it's like a lot of like a lot of water water coming through it's even like oils or potions herbs um yeah it's something that's really like I'm getting like or even like around the chakras or something that's like helping you're helping people with the ten of pentacles here so it's saying this is like a great idea and you should definitely go for it is what I'm getting the full taking a risk I feel like once you take a risk um things are going to work out for you but you have to like believe in yourself and let these worries go is what I'm getting um oh yeah that was the ideas and inspiration card um so yeah, it's kind of like once you let everything go and then keep um, like letting all the worries go, I feel it's going to work. Um, yeah, and that's all I have for group number two. Um, I hope you found this interesting. Yeah, I'd love to hear what, unless it's secret, I'd love to hear what your ideas are and if this resonated with you, I'm really intrigued. Um, yeah, but if you'd like to book a more personal reading as well, about your career you can find all my details below yeah don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you resonated with it and um, really helps my content yeah and thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one see ya hey pile three and welcome to your reading 
So today we're going to be asking the question, what is your ideal career path? Any life purpose in your life purpose, someone who wants to come through, what would be good career options for you? Um, yeah, let's take a look at your cards. Okay, we have the law of attraction. Okay, we have the law of attraction here. Relationships and activities that you once um, enjoyed are now changing as you become more sensitive and aware of energies. So I feel like you've been thinking about changing career paths for sure with this card. I feel like you've been contemplating about you want to do something new. Um, perhaps you've like your yeah there's something about a shift in the frequency you've been elevating i feel like you are very spiritual and you have been working a lot on your spirituality maybe this is some uh, maybe you do want to work in this in spirituality and some type of modality is coming through um we do have the heart chakra the answers that you seek is in your heart right now be open uh, to giving and receiving love this is something that I feel you've been contemplating and that you do yeah it's something you're really passionate about I feel like a lot of healing energy I feel like you this group is also like a healer you do have um you're empathic you have like a gentle nature to you you're very people find you very comforting to be around you do have this type of energy um Definitely seeing a career a career shift here than the, what you've been thinking about. Um, but I actually want to get, I might get all these cards out first. So this one says, um, this is focus on, focus on your strengths. Okay. And we have, so maybe you have been thinking about we have this go now maybe there is something like you've been thinking about you've been thinking about leaving a job and um, moving into something new or starting up something on the side so that you can leave what you're pre what you're doing at, at present because it's not resonating with you anymore and this focus on your strengths I feel maybe there is a bit of hesitation with you wanting to this is like really encouraging you to It's something that you've been feeling in your heart that you really want to do. Let's have a look more at these cards. Yeah, we do have healing. We, we have healing, so I feel like not only healing yourself, but I, feel, I am feeling you are a healer. There's some type of... So this could be... I feel you are actually healing yourself and a lot of... Um, this work that you've been doing doing for yourself and I feel like that's why you really want to change your life and you've been thinking about going in a new direction and something that you do want to do um but also in this and that I mean this is a general reading remember so we're all in different stages um but there is a thing here I am getting that you are a healer and that you have been thinking about whether this is um something to do with I mean, I'm going to get a few things. Uh, there's like a few things of like Reiki coming through. I am getting... Um, I mean, I'm getting children for some, like a um, pediatrician. Um, something where you're helping people. There's some type of, um, you know, it doesn't have to be in spirituality, but there's something where... I feel you'll be, in, you know, even like, a, you know, dentistry or something where you really like this helpful person. I feel that you're the one who's like, you like to help people. So there's something where you're offering, like you could be in a modality that is offering like a service where you're, whatever you're, you're, you're doing is like helping people in some way. So this could be, I mean, there's so many things. <laughs> there's so many, I mean, this is a general reading too, so, um, even like I just feel perhaps like the environment you're currently working in, um, you're wanting something that is more aligned, more aligned with your heart. So even if it is just um, 
something where you are of service to people so this could be even just like in owning you know like a store or something where you're offering a service that you're helping people and it's like to do with healing and um or you are actually just wanting to move more into but this healing is coming through really strongly um i'm getting you are a healer so let's have a look more at what other cards you've got okay we do have the nine of cups here so I feel like you've been fighting with yourself with like what you want to do when really I feel like you actually already know what you want to do deep down. We have the Queen of Cups here. I feel like this group. Fighting with yourself but also maybe other people don't agree with what you want to do maybe it is because you're moving out of what you currently are doing and it's quite different I'm getting um, but you have been thinking about something for a while where you're wanting to change something is like there's some type of conflict here within your mind or within like what you've been doing where you have been like this could be like even like within some type of work environment or something well, there's something here where there's just some type of conflict and things are not going how you want it and you wanted it to and you want it you're thinking about you want to change you want to do something different and you know that i mean you've got the nine of cups here which is this is going to bring you um fulfillment this is going to bring you ha the happiness that you are currently seeking is what i'm getting um but maybe you're kind of hesitant or not open. That's why we've, we've got this kind of like open your heart up, open your heart up to receiving that answer because it is within you of what it is that you truly um, are seeking and then what you truly want to do. I feel like you have a real connection to spirit. I'm getting a thing too for some, for like, I'm getting like, I'm hearing like sound therapy or sound. There's something here with healing. I'm getting like, I can hear like, um, those, uh, always what they call the singing bowls as well as coming through. You have a real connection. Um, so even there's something in your like mentoring people, like helpful person, something, or if there's something here within like working in groups, it's like you're a leader. You lead with integrity integrity and you lead with like heart um is this real emotional maturity about you and i feel like this is, has come through everything you've been through and all the healing that you've done on yourself but especially this focus on your strengths because i feel like this group is it means the general reading there's many skills that you actually have that you could um lead into what it is that you truly want to do but it's definitely coming through that you are a healer and you have um a way of helping people and the work that you're meant to be doing here um yeah you have the five of one ones twice so there's definitely something here where i feel like spirit is really guiding you to really think about um what it is that you want to that your heart is telling you to do because this is actually the sign that you Whatever you're doing is not bringing you like happiness and joy. It's bringing you conflict. You have five of wands twice. It's bringing you some type of conflict within yourself as getting and just like maybe like the beliefs of other people. Like you don't chow with them. You're not really. There's something like I said, your energy is changing with that law of attraction card. Your energy is changing and things are now ready for you to change. And they're wanting you to make the changes and focusing on what it is that you can offer and knowing that I mean you've got the queen of cups here we do have the moon so again like healing you i do get like um you have strong psychic ability as well strong psychic ability here i feel like you're if even if you're not completely i'm hearing if you're not completely sure what you want to do um, to start slowly and start listing the things that you are good at and what you can what you um, enjoy like that focus on your strengths because I feel like this path is going to um, 
keep unfolding because I'm not being, also I am not being told everything here with this moon card. So it's kind of like on this journey, things are going to keep unfolding for you because this is your journey. But this is kind of like at this time, there is some type of conflict here where it's asking you and you've been thinking about shifting in a new direction. And remember, this is a general reading as well because you're all going to have different skill sets, but definitely a healer and what you're feeling in your heart is that you want to do something and I do feel this is like working with other people um, still getting something that it is around um, healing and working with other people in a way that you're going to be helping people we do have the balance card here Oh, sorry, it's the, just, the Justice card, but I always just say the Balance card. Um, the Justice card as well. So even for some people I am getting, yeah, for some people I am getting like it even could be, because it's general reading, I am getting, um, you could be helping people out of, out of conflict as well as your life's purpose. Um, as, and or career path or business that you're going to do. Um, or even something in like, um, something, because I'm getting like justice. So something even in like the law field where you're helping people, you're like a legal advisor, you know, with that like helpful person and you're like able to connect with them or support worker. Um, I'm getting like life coach I'm hearing as well for some or something where you're helping people, even if like some people going for a counselor as well. Yeah. Something where maybe when people are in like, or mental health is coming through when people are like in a bit of a um, like mental mental state or they're going through something um, with mental conflict or um, something like this, you're able to be there to support them as well is what I'm getting. Um, something with like law, police, I'm getting like detective for some. Um, yeah. Even like, yeah, like police force. <laughs> private, <laughs> private investigator. <laughs> Sorry, I just like, I just heard that. I was pointing in. <laughs> I'm in a bit weird mood now. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. Uh -huh. I hope you found this interesting. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear if this resonated with you and uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know, and if you loved, uh, if you loved this video, yeah, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my content. And if you would like a more personal career reading, um, yeah, you find and you can book a reading. All my details are in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Hey Power 4 and welcome to your reading. So today we're going to be asking the question, what is your ideal career path? Um, what is your life purpose? Yeah, what are career options for you? So yeah, let's jump into this and take a look at your cards. So we have the throat chakra. The angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth. So I'm immediately getting speaker. There's something with your words that are really healing. There's something here, even like musician, um, as in, yeah, I'm just getting like, I am getting music too. Musician, um, singing, songwriter. I'm hearing lots of music as well. Let's have a look what else. Speaker, your even like standing up for people that can't, like human rights, um, activism. I'm getting like writing as well, coming through communication, anything where you kind of like um, journalism as well, presenter, actor, theater. Okay, we have integrity. Align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you. 
even like I'm getting dancing for some people, there's a lot of things here around um, being able to express yourself in a way that is, yeah, true and authentic um, to you. There's something where you're really passionate about um, what it is that you want to be doing with your life. I really, really like, even like speaking for people that can't, um, so whether this is to like, you know, even like a lawyer or somewhere where you're representing other people that can't speak, even like a teacher as well coming through. Um, let's see what other cards you have. You're seeing this, uh, ac ac <laughs> you're seeing this situation accurately with Horace, um, and we do have positive change coming through as well. So maybe you've been thinking about either taking, if you are on this career path, taking your career to the next level, or you're thinking about changing into something that's truly more aligned with what it is that you want to be doing. You could even be, I am getting with this card here, um, this card always to me is like very, very psychic. So you, you are extremely psychic is what I'm getting. Um, so even that, you could be, even you could be like a reader too, um, you know, where you're speaking, you know, like, you know, like at the moment, I'm, what I'm doing, like I'm using, I'm communicating and, and channeling, but it's kind of like something where, you know, like this communication is coming through where even like, yeah, something where I'm feeling like you could be, um, center stage as well. People are looking at you. People are admiring you this empowerment you're more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful especially with this positive change I feel like something's on the horizon or whatever you're doing is going to really like blow up it's something really aligned you feel very passionate about it and when you do it you're like truly in your soul's like um Oh, I'm just saying your soul's vibe is really aligned and it just really sings true to you when you're doing this. There's something here around like even for some people like modeling or acting I was saying. There's something here with like your beauty, like people are looking at you, dancing admiring your beauty I'm getting as well something here where you're really beautiful or um if you're a guy you're I'm like what do people say I'm like what do people say to guys I'm always like you're really hot <laughs> I don't know anyway um or yeah like yeah, there's something here where people are looking at you your center stage and your so even if, like I was saying, you are representing something, because this is a general reading, remember? Because even if you were like a lawyer or something, you would be standing there and people would be looking at you as well. Um, and we do have freedom here. It's something that you... When you're doing it, you just feel in your element. And I feel like maybe you... For some people, maybe you're really wanting to do this more. You really want to step into this more because you're feeling like um, constricted and you just want to be like free is what I'm getting. Um, it's something, yeah, where you do, when you do this with it, it's like I feel like your energy just changes and you just have like this way of expressing yourself, like expressing yourself better, being more... I don't know, it just feels more like aligned. We do have the star card. So you're definitely made to be, even like social media or something, you're definitely in the limelight for sure. I was going to say, you couldn't even for some, you could be a celebrity. <laughs> let me know, let me know below <laughs> what kind of celebrity are you <laughs> that's watching my channel. Um, I feel like people are looking at you so there's something here where um uh where you're yeah it's getting like you're in the limelight because there's a lot of cards here where these you know th these people in the pictures are kind of standing alone look literally standing alone 
where you're like looking at her standing alone with like people people around even like fame I'm getting for this group um because it's kind of like here with freedom well it's kind of like I mean all these angels are around her but it's kind of like you know if you're in like paparazzi or something we don't have to be that big of a celebrity but do you know what I mean like but this could be like in social media you could have like a big following or um I was gonna say like you know or on the webcam or whatever whatever you whatever you're doing um and you know like this one standing alone they're all in the star card you'll need to be to do something where you're using your gifts and your talents and you're really you stand out you shine you're meant to shine you're meant to oh my god and you have the queen of wands <laughs> i haven't looked at these cards so i love it i love it when a plan comes together when a plan it, but you know what i mean okay so we have the queen of wands <laughs> what the heck look the star is empowerment and queen of wands what like a freaking amazing <laughs> That's like so cool. You are made. I feel like you have a lot of, you know, if not now, you you are going to. You're meant to have people admire you, watch you. Yeah, that's like performer, actor, musician. You're meant to be on stage. People like watch you, watch you perform and watch you do your thing. And whatever you're doing brings you real joy and people can see this. And this is a, a sign coming through here saying there is some type of change as on the horizon. And that, I mean, with this empowerment card, which is definitely saying you're more powerful than you realize. And like, it's time to get out of the shadows and it's time for you to shine your freaking light. Okay, we do have um, Temperance, the Justice card. strength so definitely that um i am getting i'm getting like a real intuitive um intuitive myths with this with this group as well is coming through and that again is coming through that i feel like you're quite powerful and you are a leader and you stand really tall um but it's just coming through to like remember that remember how powerful you are and how strong you are um and again like you know like another card of like strength like that card it's like amazing another another person like standing there shining with like a freaking lion <laughs> on that line reminds me to like the movies you know that um you know in the movie start it has like that the lion that um, roars at the, <laughs> um, I can't, I don't know what, I don't know what make of, well, you know what I mean, you know, when the, the movie starts, so, which tells me you're, there's something here where you're showing yourself and what you're doing, and that reminds me, yeah, of like, I mean, she's pretty much like an actress or someone who's like shining, and then it's like the movie's starting, <laughs> and you're like, you're like the leading actress or actor <laughs> okay i feel like spirit is saying we have the disappointment uh so the five of cups and the five of swords perhaps things haven't worked out for you in the past and that's why you're content like you're thinking is this what i should be doing or you're worrying and that's why i think it's coming through to remember that i am getting remember when things don't work out for you that it's just um um, to help you to move in a different direction and that wasn't for you and it'll just help you on this journey for you to shine more where you're meant to shine if that makes sense so if um, roadblocks or things happen upon your path um, just remembering that it's just like ways to spirit is saying like this isn't for you and to try something new but not to give up because there's a lot of things coming through with empowerment and strength um, you're stronger than and pow more powerful than you realize is like what it was saying. I feel like with this um, these cards here that just I just feel 
if you're waiting for something to happen, that it is going to happen. I feel like you've been getting signs from your angels is what they're telling me. And it's kind of coming through that. I'm kind of getting this thing around like the darkness and light, the yin and yang is coming through. So it's kind of coming through with like your, sh your shadow self is coming through and in you kind of maybe when you're going to the dark side maybe when you're kind of going more into the disappointment to remember remembering to balance things out and that sometimes if these things don't work out for you it's helping you to move more in the direction that is in true alignment with you especially with the side of yeah, integrity card things that you're more passionate about and that's kind of why these things happen is what i'm being told um Funny too, they said like some people, yeah, because I'm getting like, yeah, the lawyer thing too. That was like random that came through. But um, I just feel like you're really meant to shine. And there's something here around duality. So even if this is in your, in your work, there's something here around, something here around the, the darkness I don't know. There's something here like the darkness and then the the light shining. The polarity and what you're experiencing and what you're helping people with is coming through too. Because this could be maybe something you're speaking about. Maybe you could have gone through a lot of dark times. Um, maybe I feel like you have experienced probably quite a lot of darkness. Um, especially with this disappointment card. Um, the five of cups you've had a lot of disappointment in your life you've had a lot of things but you've never I felt never given up so you the strength and this five of yeah the five of swords here you've always kind of kept persevering sometimes you can lean too much into the dark but it's kind of like your flip side yeah you have a dark and a light and and balancing in that out helps you but it's also like helping other people there's something here around um for some people you could be sharing this with other people or in doing what you truly love it's helping you to balance out more of like this darkness um so when i say darkness this could be maybe um for some people you could deal with like depression um or just because of what has happened what is like the loss that you've had in your life or with partners or um just things you've experienced i feel is coming through with with you being able to balance this more and doing what you love. And remember, they're just saying like, with the darkness, um, this is kind of what, yeah, like I was saying, coming out of the shadows and remembering there is a light. It's kind of like the balance, the yin and yang. I feel like, yeah, there needs to be more of like a balance that will help you. Because I feel like maybe you do um, suffer from just like stuff that's gone on, you know, like we all do as well. Um, but I feel with you just being able to know, I mean, that you are the star. And even sometimes when you don't feel like you can go on, knowing that you have gone on and you've gotten up and from so many other things that have happened in your life. And especially with this positive change card, if you are kind of in a dark period at the moment or you're going through some doubt, know that the positive change is on the horizon that you do have. Um, I really do see you shining and remember that you're meant to be this person that is pretty much in, in the spotlight is what I'm getting and sharing your knowledge and helping other people is what's coming through because I feel like the things that have gone on in your life has helped will help you or has helped you get to this point um where you're able to be on some type of platform and help other people great and that's all i have for um group four i hope you found this reading interesting if you'd like a more personal reading about your career you can find all my details in the description box below and yeah i'd love to hear this resonated with you let me know in the um comments as well and if you want to go in the draw to win a free reading I'd drop a comment below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. it really helps my content thanks so much for watching guys i'll see you in the next one see ya